This is Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum, and tonight is this awesome night. We've had so many amazing bikes show up here at the museum. Uh, we've got Pete Baccarosa's Superbike Universe bikes, um, and uh, Hollywood, who's the president of the Motorcycles Motorcycle Club. How you doing, Hollywood? Good, sir. He uh, has been collecting motorcycles, and he's got some beauties he bought in for the Cafe Racer show. Tell us a little bit about this one right here. It's a 1952 Match Rush British bike. Um, pretty much what you see is how they really came with the red rims, the whole thing. Um, chrome tank, very known for the matchless with the chrome tank. Definitely a signature of the bike, the chrome tank. It's stunning, as are the, the red wheels. It's uh, what I, I guess I'd call this a timeless design because it's almost 70 years old and it still looks on point. So they, you know they got it right. I rode this down here from up top and uh, it's super smooth. Uh, gliding motorcycle and, and the spring seat gives you an extra bit of suspension travel over just the rear shocks. So uh, very low miles. This is an original matching numbers bike with 218 miles on the odometer. I don't know where you'd ever find one with this low miles again. So putting a value on this one would, would be hard. It's uh, pretty much uh, priceless and irreplaceable in my opinion. Um, so just a beautiful machine. Moving on to the next one. This one caught my eye. Uh, my heart skipped a beat when I saw this one because I love Honda cafe racers and I love vintage Honda motorcycles, especially the, the 350, 450 class. Tell me a little bit about this one here. This is really a special piece. This is a 72 CB 450, um, designed and built by KDI Cycle. Um, he's raced this bike. It's been in numerous magazines. Um, this is just a great bike, fun to ride. It's, this is this is going back in time. This is, to me, this is just downright badass. There, there's a few things that just, I've been to Daytona 28 years. I've been a pretty much Daytona, Daytona Boardwalk show and most of the big shows in Daytona for coming up on 30 years now. And I've seen a, millions of, of motorcycles there. You know, I, 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 it's a hobby of mine just walking around and, and riding around looking at bikes. and. The fit and finish on this is, is, is on point. What struck me about this one, mainly uh, the, the profile, the tank and the seat. What's the scoop of the tank and seat on this? I don't know the manufacturer of the tank. Um, I have a write-up, which I'm going to bring down here for it, which KDI had put together. Um, it's when it was featured in one of the magazines. They'll do a breakdown of everything that's on it. It's clearly a work of art. Uh, the paint job, the, the tones of the paint, the black and the, and the light green. The other thing that struck me was the triple clamps, polished with a brilliant shine. I thought they were custom clamps. Uh, in fact, they're the originals, but they've been highly modified. Tell me what we did here. What they did is, on the risers, they actually filled the holes in and then polished them true. And then this is a, I don't know if this is a custom or a, a purchased one, um, but just the bars with these cross Hold bracing the is awesome. Okay, so so um, the... Uh, the bars, tell me about the handlebars bars a little bit. I don't know who the manufacturer was again, I wish I had all the specs on it, but you can tell that it's got the cross brace and so they're not clamp-ons, it's a one piece straight through. Um, it's, a, it's a highly custom one-off piece, I've never actually even seen one like this with the, uh, it's like a, a solid piece in the top here that the original factory speedometer mounts to. Front fender looks like a modified stock original yep. cut for cafe. This paint, this green is actually from a Honda car. Oh, that's awesome. So it kept the Honda tradition to it. The, the pipes look like they're off a Dunstall 750 um, Norton or something. They have like a very British look to them. Yeah. It has the big uh, CR carbs on here, the canes, which I'm sure, these things are fast stock and I bet you this thing screams. You, you, and he said he had raced it, so I know it's tuned to a high, uh, high level, so I'm really looking forward to hearing this one run. Um, this is being entered into the cafe show uh, this Saturday, two days from today. This bike right here, this is a real special piece too. This is owned by Dane Bundy. He's the um, co-host of, of the show. Him and I have been working our asses off for a couple months, uh, meeting every Wednesday night and talking every single day about the show. And his, he's the inspiration for this show, really. Um, his passion for cafe racers. He's, he was gonna do this show at another venue in town here. And um, we spoke and said, hey, let's do it here at the museum. We weren't sure the building would be even open. We thought we were gonna be doing it outside. So. This bike was last shown at the um, at the mansion. At, what's the name of the mansion up there? The, um, the 
It's, it's a, the Elks. The Elks, yeah, they have a mansion up there that's off the hook. And this was featured in the lobby of the Elks. And in another video we had done where the woman who was 75 years old and had it since new came in and saw it done for the first time. So that was kind of a cool moment. But I know Dean spent about a year on this bike um, and a lot of time and money. The paint job is really off the hook. If you come up close here and take a look at this paint job, uh, it's a, his friend is a PPG painter and, and paint rep. And um, the, the quality and the materials having the, the flat black and then the super high, it's a very difficult thing to pull off and have it look this good. So the fit and finish on the paint job is uh, really special. It's got a rag around the, the, the bar here because um, we gotta do some final fine tuning. This comes too close to the tank. We're a little nervous, so you just put, we're gonna fix that tomorrow. Custom tires, custom wheels, custom exhaust, similar style to the ones on Hollywood's bike. Um, upside down, gas, nitrogen shocks, chrome air filters. Everything's cleaned up in the back here. Full custom seat. Um, the chain is, is a gold-plated chain. Just a gorgeous bike. Uh, this will be entered in the show also. Now over here we've got, this is this in Colorado too. Uh, this is Hollywood's uh, 2013 Cafe Sportster. Tell us a little bit about this one. What did this start like? That? This started life on as the Harley Davidson 1200 Nightster. It's the blackout bike. Um, it was modified to a cafe look. It's got the Clubman bars. The cafe, this is very known, the cafe with the end mirrors on the bars. Um, yeah, this will definitely have a shot at winning the American class for sure uh, this, uh, this weekend. The Vance and Hind pipes is, is stunning too. This thing must, this must roar. And you'd said it handles like a dream too. It handles beautiful. Uh, Just this, beautiful. This is a 2013 model. This has the rubber mount engine. If you know your sporties, you know this weighs about 50 pounds more than a rigid mount Sportster. So it has a much more planted, uh, refined feel. It sounds and looks the same but it doesn't vibrate you to death. You can get on the highway and listen to 85 miles an hour and there's no vibration or very little vibration, none compared to a rigid Sportster, which is brutal on the highway at those speeds comparatively. Uh, it's got custom shocks on this, a custom uh, tailpiece. Is this a factory tank on this bike? Factory tank. Original tank, it's got a beautiful scallop side to it. Uh, everything's all blacked out on it, screaming you intake. What else did you do to the motors? It is uh, obviously the intake and exhaust. Is the rest of it stock? Uh, I think so. Yeah. This is this is a 1200. 1200. Yeah, so it's a 1200 cc. Uh, are these six speeds or five? Five, five speed uh, with belt drive. This is stunning machine. So I'm glad to see this come in because we're a little short on our Harleys for the show. Custom headlight everywhere you look. There's custom pieces on this. So substantial investment. I mean, uh, a stock 1200 Sportster is what uh, 12 grand out the door now, and you've probably got an easy five grand. Or more uh, in, in um, parts and paint on this thing between the exhaust and the intake and all the custom stuff. So it's a big investment. Uh, I, I really like the uh, uh, number one on the uh, derby cover here. I forget what they call that, but I had my Dyna, my Dyna S. I had that everywhere on the bike. I think it's just to me, it's badass. It's got the skull. It's got the Harley uh, number one. But um, so Dylan, thank you for holding that. So uh, thank you for bringing the bikes down, Hollywood. Um, looking forward to the Saturday. Uh, we've got a huge inventory of world-class motorcycles you're not going to see anywhere else. AJS, Nimbus, Honda, Harley-Davidson. Um, we've got Nortons, Indians, Triumphs, uh, BMWs, Honda, Suzuki, Kawasaki, Yamahas, a whole bunch of race bikes. We have, a, I think, every, every brand of 500cc uh, two-stroke here. Um, this is a absolutely gorgeous Elsinore 250 XR75 Honda. A little bit of something for everybody. Again, the focus on the show is the cafe racer theme, which is the most popular style of motorcycle today, um, in my opinion. I think the, uh, the big wheel choppers and the custom chopper style motorcycle thing is phasing out. The um, big wheel baggers, I think, is kind of cooled off, and this is, seems to be what's well, hot we've got the rockers coming that's the uh cafe club so stay tuned see you guys uh saturday and come out and have a lot of fun here at the opening day of the museum and we'll see you soon god bless america